Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm gonna to be doing a video on a jaw mount on a nice Kubera snapper that my buddy Sean and I caught the other night off the dock. I've done a few of these in the past and turned out pretty good. Let's take a good look here. So we're gonna make a jaw mount. I'm gonna walk you through how to do it, or at least how I do it. So I start by taking some tin foil. We're gonna wrap this guy. In. Oven's at 350 degrees. Right here. All right, so I decided to try something a little bit different. Normally, I would pull it out of the oven and go ahead and take the jaws out, and start cleaning them up. Uh, it's been cooking now for about 45 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the oven. I got a pot of water on. I'm gonna bring that to a boil. And once I pull the jaw mount, the jaw out, the pieces that I want, uh, then I'll come in and boil it for like another 10 or 15 minutes, or maybe try and really loosen that skin up as much as possible. Uh, and then I'll take the jaws out and start cleaning them up. So, we'll go ahead and take this out of the oven. And uh, we'll take this outside and uh, start picking it apart. All right, so I got a little Tupperware and a fork. We'll open this up and see how it looks. Pretty hot. Ooh, warm. Won't take long and the flies will be here. Uh, not quite. I should have let it cook a little bit longer, but we can get out what we need to get out. So the bottom jaw should just be one solid piece, like that. There we go. So, I'll show you more when we get inside of it. There's our bottom jaw. Top, part of our top jaw. Top jaw. Part of the bottom jaw. Should be one other piece on the other side here. This one right here. So, I mean, there's a lot of meat still on the head of this fish. Amazing. So, all right, we'll get these inside and get them cleaned up, and I'll show you what they look like. Let's go. All right, so our water's boiling. So we got, this is a part of the top jaw mount. Jaw mount, part of the top jaw. And then here we've got, this should have two pieces in it, but uh, this is part of the, this is part of the bottom here. The other side of the top. So the top jaw will actually come into two pieces, but some good looking teeth right there. Try and pull some of this meat off. All right, there's the other piece right here. And then here's the bottom jaw. 
So we'll boil this for a little bit, see if we can get that skin to fall off a little bit better, and then uh, start scrubbing it off. Alright, so this has been boiling now for about 15 minutes, and you can kind of see that all the skin's starting to fall off of it, all the meat's coming off, and it's exposing just the jaw, just the bone. So we'll take this outside, I'll put it in a bucket, and uh, we'll spray it down. See you out there. Alright, so next, I'm just going to pour this right in here. Take my hose. I'm just trying to agitate as much of that skin off as I can. And then I'm going to strain it out. All right, so now we're just gonna warm up this, or fill up the sink with some warm soapy water. And uh, I like to use these bamboo, uh, what do you call them, kebab sticks. They help really well with getting in here and picking out some of the stuff. So go ahead and fill this up. You don't need much water because you're gonna end up probably changing it out a few times, but. Just pick a piece, and we just take this and start picking all the pieces out, and that's it. All right, so it's summertime here in Florida, which means it's pretty hot out. We'll just let these air dry in the sun for a little bit. Here, I'll lay them out so you guys can see them. So we got the bottom jaw, two top jaws. These will be the supports for the top jaws. These will be the supports for the bottom jaws. So, I don't know if you can see. So, top jaws, bottom jaws. So we'll let those dry and then we'll soak them in some hydrogen peroxide. Alright, so we're just going to put these in a Tupperware. So I'm just using regular over-the-counter 3%. That's all I can find. Some people find stronger stuff. 3% works just fine. Just got to soak it a little bit longer. So we'll fill this all the way up. Until that's completely submerged. Alright, so we'll let those soak for a few hours and then we'll let it dry again and put it all together. Alright, so we got all our pieces dried after soaking in the hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna take my little hot glue gun here and just do, I just did the little dry fitting and everything looked good. So now we'll just tap in a little bit of hot glue. Oops, that's the wrong one there. There we go. All right, and then once this dries, then we'll go back and we'll tap it in with some super glue, the oh, gel kind. Do. Yeah. To, once it sets. Yep. What is it? Would you be able to do this with the snook? I have the snook mounted in my office. Oh yeah. It, it just collapsed because I never super glued it because I didn't have super glue. Wow. Is it there? Yeah. Bring it, actually, bring all the pieces out here. I'll put it back together since I'm doing this. Alright. And there's the bottom piece. Put 
Okay, next we got our two top jaws and the two pieces that go on top. I'm not sure what all the bones are called. We'll put it on about like that. If and when we go down to the Keys, once I get this boat trailer figured out and I can stop blowing money on fishing all the time, um, I um, I gotta watch a bunch of the Land Shark videos about his bridge stuff before I go. All right. So once you find it how you like it, tap it. Oh shoot. Bam, I just got to let it dry. Bam, dude, looks great.